Now that we have discussed the format of the questionnaire and previously before that we did discuss how to search your questionnaire and then we did discuss the sampling techniques as well. Let's assume you have collected your data based on, on those instructions or those sessions. Now once you have got the data, the next step is obviously to analyze the data. Now in order to analyze the data, we need an, an, an analytical software. Now these days, the most prominent ones are Smart PLS and Amos. Now what we normally do is, the first thing that we need to do is we need to code our items. So let's see how we can code our items. Now this is the questionnaire format. You add your questions here. I've created a very compact format for my questionnaires. The reason being, I do not want to extend my questionnaire over two pages. So the first thing, you code your items, all of them. Let's say this is ethical responsibility. So I've coded it like ER1, ER2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is research and development responsibilities. So RDR1, 2, up until 6. Same is the case for all the other variables in my study. Now these are demographic variables. Now you can define your data or add in your data in Excel or SPSS. If you are doing it in SPSS, you have to first define your variables in the variable view. If you are doing it in Excel, you just need to add the column names at the top row. Now. Once you have added the data in either Excel or SPSS, the next step is screen the data. Just check the minimum and maximum values, check the missing data. Following that, now start reporting. Write about the descriptive statistics. This will include both the demographic profile of respondents or the descriptives for your indicators as well, if you are doing a thesis. In paper, we normally do not put in the descriptives for our indicators, but you can in a table as well. Now, once you are through this, the next step is structural equation modeling. You either use Smart PLS or AMOS. Now, what shall be the structure of your structural equation modeling section? Now, it is divided into first measurement model, that is to assess the quality criteria of your constructs. And in there, the first thing that you do is you write your factor loadings, then assess the construct reliability, and then assess construct validity. Construct reliability assessed using cron batch alpha and composite reliability and construct validity assessed using convergent validity and discriminant validity. Now, once you have assessed or established the reliability and validity, the next step is reporting your structural model. The first thing that you do is explain or write in the model explanatory power, that is R square. Then check your hypothesis. If you've just got direct relationships, you just put in the direct relationships. Otherwise, you can have mediation and moderation analysis as well. Now, again, if you are using AMOS, you will have to describe or write in the model fit for your measurement model and structural model. If you're using smart PLS, then this is the basic structure that is normally followed. Now, finally, you will have your chapter summary. Now, again, I'm not it's part of this series, I'm not going to describe the analysis in detail because I've got the whole set of smart PLS playlist here, plus a playlist on Amos as well. Now, if you go on to the channel, the link will be shared as well for these playlists. If you go on to the channel and click playlists here, you will find these playlists here. I'm going to share the link as well. So this is Smart PLS, almost 50 videos on Smart PLS 4. And then I've got seminar package as well. You can use this for analysis as well. And then there is AMOS as well. Here is IBM SPSS AMOS. The link for all these three playlists will be shared in the description. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to structure your results section once you have collected your data. Thank you very much.